In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a statistics uh, infographic slide. As you can see here, I've created four different age groups. The first age group is between uh, one to seven. And here I'm going to just represent that how many of the people or how many of the kids between one to seven can able to afford the school, which I just pointed like it's 20% only. Then how many of them are able to complete the studies between eight 18 only 30 percent and how many are able to get the jobs between 19 to 55 age group which is 50 percent and above age 55 plus how many able to afford the housing which is 37 percent and to make this slide let me just show you um you need any powerpoint 2013 uh, version or uh, 2010 also works but you have to enable the merge options I'm using PowerPoint 365 and uh, in 365 already the icons already built but if you don't use the this version then you need to download the icons from the nonproject.com so let's start how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide and I'm going to add five rectangles to it uh, to insert the rectangles go to insert tab and shapes and select a rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size or let me just increase a little bit and shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d to duplicate this and change the color to some other color and i'm just going to place i'm going to increase the size a little bit again ctrl d change to some different color and one more i'll increase the size a little bit let me just give some different color and the last one which is a smaller one i'm going to give some different color now i have added five rectangles to it uh, then i'm going to add the icons to add the icons you can go to insert click on icons as i've explained before if you don't have the icons option in your powerpoint version then you can go to the website and you can insert the icons from there directly so let me just go to the icons now let me just go down yes so i'm going to insert uh, three icons the this is the first icon i want to insert and this is the second icon and the old man the third icon and just say insert so you can see here three icons has been inserted so let me just take this boy and bring it here D increase the size crop the unwanted area You can see here if you want bigger you can make it somewhat bigger also and place it exactly in the center you can see here it is exactly in the center okay now i'm just going to duplicate this slide right mouse click just say duplicate the slide now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this icon first and hold the shift key and select the blue rectangle go to format merge shape just say subtract so you can see here only this half the boy icon remains so i'm just going to copy this Control c i will delete this and i will paste it here and so you can see here so now I'm going to select this one. I'm going to use, I'll just increase the size. You can see here, again, if you want, remove the crop, unwanted area using crop. Again, I'm going to select this, or I can just control X and go to the next slide control v and make sure that this is in center 
then again I'm going to select the icon first to hold the shift key and uh, this uh, rectangle go to format merge shape and subtract okay control C and control V so you can see here the second also have uh, copied then I can use this only for the and increase the size so this is a different age group as you can see here there's some unwanted things has come so I can just simply use the crop function to delete that some extra line has come just drag it down yeah so you can see here that is done and then the last one let me just change this color so it's not visible yeah so let me just pull this old man and this is very big let me just reduce the size yes so now I'm going to control X cut and paste it here then I'm going to select this image icon first and then this light uh, of white color go to format merge shape and say subtract so you can see here control C control V and just paste it here So you can see here uh, our basic design is ready so this slide we don't need we can simply delete this so we need only this slide now now it's time to change the colors so for this I'm just going to select that go to format shape fill and give some color of your choice and for this also I'm going to give the the same color then I'm going to select this go to format shape fill and I'm going to give a light brown color or maybe this color and for this also I'm going to give the same color then I'm going to select this and I will just give some brown color and again brown color for this and go to format give some darker color actually I should have given this color here let me just give this color here and this color yeah and this one also let me just give the same color and this also I'm going to give the same color and this one I'm going to give it a total black color so you can see here the colors are done but as you can see here it is not uh, clearly visible so I'm going to give a white outline for this so I'm just going to select hold the shift key select this uh, four uh, icons go to format shape outline make it white you can see here and for this also I'm going to select and shape outline make it white and increase the width to maybe two quarters select all and give so you can see here and whenever you can see a small line just correct it so and this also let me just move it a little bit yes so you can see here now our design is ready it's time to add the text so uh, I just want to add the age age groups here for that go to insert text box and just say age say one to seven years and give a good font of your choice 
and size is white color increase the size so it's clearly visible so age which is one to seven and then here you can just put like and it's uh, I'm just putting randomly 8 to say 19 just for the again control D I'll just say it's 20 to say 51 and this one I'll just say 51 plus so you can see here I have added uh, age groups and if you want again you can add some icons to it for example just go to icons again and select some nice icons to represent what exactly you're trying to say for example let me just uh, put some random uh, this one and something so you can see here i've added and changed the color to white and this i want to put it here this i want to put it here i want to put this here and here whatever and then you can just uh, type the text and that's it let me just delete this icon and put the other one for example this one let me just bring it in the center and here i just like to say that okay that between uh, the groups uh, the people or kids between one to seven that only 20 percent are able to afford the school or can go to school so for that i just want to represent that uh, go to insert shapes i'm just going to add one uh, bar chart okay so say this one and i'll just give a white color shape outline make it no outline again select this press ctrl d to duplicate it and give some different color and then reduce the size and just give 20 percent again give the same font which i'm using the century gothic center align bold increase the size a little bit and put it here so here what i'm trying to say is that means uh, the age group between one to seven only 20 percent able to afford the the school then same thing i'm just going to select this all highlight for example just do like this with the mouse Control D to duplicate it and put it here. So say this one about the how many actually study or how much for example let me just put say this is a 30 percent for example. Then let me just let me just select this manually by holding the shift key control d to duplicate it and here say that how many able to get the jobs between this so i can just increase this one a little bit and i will say that maybe 35 percent and then the last one control d and how many people able to afford the housing so let me just reduce the size and just say i will say only 15 percent and then you can just add uh, some of the uh, the text here so it's very good slide for you to uh, show some statistics with the age factor
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye